Hello everyone. I'm great to welcome back to Korean Home English Club with Engineer. In the previous lessons, I already took you to international phonetic alphabet, simple present tense, and present continuous tense. In this class today, I like to be along with you to review the old lessons for your exercise practice. Firstly, I like to help you to review the International Phonetic Alphabet. In International Phonetic Alphabet, we have 12 single vowel sounds with three positions of the mouth. The mouth is narrow. The sound comes from the back. The mouth is a little bigger. The sound comes from the middle and the mouth is big around the sound come from the in front we also have nine combination vowel sound and 24 consonant sound in order to recognize what is unvoiced consonant sound and what is voice consonant sound by putting your thumb at your throat and if the sound is pronounced we feel vibration such sound is voice consonant sound and oppositely when the sound is pronounced but you don't feel vibration such sound is Unvoiced consonant sound. And a question is given why we are instructed in single vowel sound, unvoiced consonant sound, and voiced consonant sound. We do it because they relate to third person singular in simple present tense with the rule we add the surface of. S or ES at the end of the base verb or the rule of adding adding in in present continuous tense and and now I want to have you helping you to review one by one each case firstly please look at the book look at the book to to review the voiceless sounds in simple present tense in simple present tense if the base verb ending voiceless sound consonant for example we trust at the suffix x next to the syllable of the base verb. For example, if the base verb ending we add s and s is pronounced in unvoiced sound because is unvoiced sound so s also is pronounced in unvoiced sound similarly to stop 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 Won't, won't, won't. Visit, visit, visit. Cop, cop, cop. Make, make make 
and eat. 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 And now we're moving on to the bass verb ending voice consonant sound. If the bass verb ending voice consonant sound such as b, d, g, l, m, 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 r, d, v, we also add the suffix s at the end of the bass verb next to one of them. For example, stop buzz. Stop buzz. Because b is voice consonant sound, so s also is pronounced in voice consonant sound. So listen and repeat after me. Stop buzz. Stop buzz. Stop buzz. Similarly, rap. Buzz, rap, buzz, rap, buzz, stun, buzz, stun, buzz, ga, buzz, ga, buzz, comes, 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 turns. Turn a z, turn a z, live a z, live a z, live a z, and sing z, sing a z. That are the voice, voice consonant sound. And now we move to the bass verb ending with the sound z. J, 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 and z, z, and z. And G. With these sounds, we add E S E S at the end of the last syllable of the bass verb. For example, trans, trans. So we add E S and Transize, transize, transize. Similar, similarly to trans. Miss, miss, miss. So we add es, and we have misses, misses. What? Watch, watch, walk, cheese, walk, cheese, walk, cheese. J, j, jazz, 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 jazz. Freeze, freeze, freeze. So we add es. We have freezes, freezes, freezes. Watch, watch. In British voice, we speak watch, but in American voice. We speak 
wash, wash, washes, washes, washes. Okay, and massage, 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 massage. This is voice consonant sound. Voice consonant sound. Massage, massage, massages, massages. Massages. So these are three. These are three cases of of the base of ending consonant sound. Consonant sound. And now we're moving on to the base of ending y. Ending y. So before. We skip to the base of ending Y. I remind you again, I remind you again. If the base of ending voicing sounds such as we add X, we add X. And the suffix of S is pronounced in unvoiced sounds because they are unvoiced sounds so suffix is also is pronounced in unvoiced sound la 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 stop stop kick 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 Want, want, want. Visit, visit. Cop, cop, cop. Make, make, make. And eat, eat. If the base of ending voice consonant sound such as b, d, g, l, m, 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 r, d, g, we also add x at the end of the base of stop buzz. But here is not pronounced in unvoiced consonant sound. It is pronounced in voice consonant sound. Stop buzz. Stop buzz. Stop buzz. The rap buzz. The rap buzz. Stand buzz. Stand buzz. Gagaz. Gagaz. Come, come, turns, turns, leaves, leaves, and singers. If the bass verb ending consonant sound, here we are both avoid consonant sound and Boy consonant sound. So we should take notice on each sound. Chan, chanas, chanas, chances, chances, miss, miss, misses, misses, what, what, what. Watches, watches, j, 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 j,
okay freeze freeze freezes freezes watch 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 watches watches massage massage massages massages okay now we moving on to the base for ending y and y we have two cases before y is vowel and before y is consonant Now we look at the more some base verb. If if the base verb ending y but before y before y the base verb ending y but before y is is consonant sound y is changed into e is changed into e and we ask e s we have Study, study, and hypnotic. Studies, studies, studies. E S now is at is now in is is okay. Continue. We have cry. Cry similar similar to the above rule. We have cry and cry. Rise, rise, rise. Cries, cries. Okay. And now, and now we see other case. Play. Play. Play, play is play is the verb ending y, but before y is vowel, so we keep y and we trust only at s. Place and place. Place, place, place. Okay. One more. Enjoy. Enjoys.
ज enjoys enjoys okay so you should take notice different cases the same ending y but different the rule is different study studies studies cry cry Cries, but play, plays, plays. Enjoy, enjoys, enjoys. Okay. That that are the rule of third person singular in simple present tense you should take notice each of case each of case in the simple present tense for your exercise practice okay now we moving on to present continuous tense with the rule in verb in Just now we have we review simple present tense present tense and now we review present continuous. Tense. If you know the form of present continuous tense, the form he, she, it, at to be to be here is is and what in what in I am what in and you they we are working. Working. This is the form of present continuous tense. And now we see how how the verb act in. If the verb has only one syllable and ending consonant sound but before consonant sound is vowel we must multiply double consonant sound consonant before we add in now look at the ball run run has one syllable and Ending n before n is vowel. We multiple multiply double n before we add in. In. Sitting. Sit. Sitting. Begin. Begin. Be. 
Ning. Ning. Beginning. Drop. Drop. Ting. Drop. Ting. Drop. Ting. Are you see? All the beginning has two syllable, B and Ving, but begin ending consonant sound before consonant is is vowel E. So we multiply double N and we add in. Okay. The the verb the base of ending. F the base of ending E E A E A E A we change E A we we change A to Y and we add in possible I I drop here the verb. E, we change E, Y, and we back verb in. For example, die, die in. Lie. Lying. Tie. Tying. Tying. Die. Ending E. I E and we change I E to Y before we add in. Similar similar to die, the verb lie, lie in, tie, tie in. And for example, the verb. Ending E. We drop E. We drop E and we add in. For example, have. Have ending E. We drop E and we add in. Have, having, believe, believing, believing. Believing this rule very important for 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 your division of in or also in third person singular. Okay, now I already have you to review the rule of adding s es in uh, up to. Uh, add to the end of the base verb. Now we uh, we skip to the music of the simple present tense and present continuous tense. Okay. Adilicia, my name.
music. Up, simple, up, simple, up, simple, present. And continuous tense. Continuous tense. Continuous tense. As to know the present, the simple present tense is used to talk about an action is you to talk about um talk about habits repeated action terror to and changing situation twist arrangement twist arrangement and the signal was to tell you the simple present is time abroad is um, adverb. Is um, adverb. Um, adverb. For simple present tense. Simple present tense is often is always always often often Sometimes, sometimes, occasionally, 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 rarely. And never, and never. So the signal was to tell you the simple present is time applause for simple present tense. The signal was the signal was for present continuous tense is time applause. Um, adverb, for, present, continuous, continuous tense. Is now now at the moment the moment tomorrow tomorrow. Right now, right now, and look, listen, listen. So, these are the signal words to tell you where 
is simple present tense and which is present continuous tense okay the present continuous tense is used to talk about an action happen at the time of speaking action happen in near future and have an action happen around this time around this time not all time okay so so these are difference between the simple present tense and and the present continuous tense now you look at the ball see the difference <coughs> of two tenses Example. 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 I. I. Have. Breakfast. I have breakfast at six o'clock at six o'clock every morning. And I am having having breakfast breakfast up. Six o'clock. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Firstly, up. Firstly, up we just have quick look up two sentences. We feel they are same meaning, but if we look up for more time, long time and carefully, we see they are different. Up in first sentence is to talk about an action repeating action every day every day i have breakfast at six o'clock every morning is talk about your habit your habit i have breakfast means that every morning every morning you have breakfast at six o'clock but it in below sentence in the second sentence, different. I am having breakfast at six o'clock tomorrow morning. Is talk about an action happen in near future. In near future. You can you can have breakfast at six o'clock tomorrow morning, or you can cancel. You can cancel. You don't eat breakfast at six o'clock. Tomorrow morning, trust is a plan, a schedule. You, you might for for tomorrow morning, okay? So you can you can have breakfast before six o'clock or after six o'clock. Trust action happen in near future, but in the first sentence, the time is fixed. The time is fixed and 
it describes your habit every morning i taking i take breakfast at six o'clock no ten the time is not ten okay continue I want her. I want her. And Tiffany. Tiffany. Leave in Saigon. In Saigon, and I want her and Tiffany. Are leaving in Saigon now. In Saigon now. I want her, I want her and Tiffany live in Saigon. And I want her and Tiffany are living in Saigon. Two sentences are also different. In the first, sorry, one, two, three, four. In the number four, in the number four, in the number four, de describe and changing situation. Describe the place where I want her and Tiffany leave no ten, no ten, no ten, permanent, permanent, no ten. Also describe the general two. The two is I want her and Tiffany leave in Saigon. Saigon is the place where I want her and Tiffany was born and and grow up and Leave and leaving has been leaving, but in number four, I want her and Tiffany leaving at the time of speaking. At the time of speaking, it means that before I want her and Tiffany leaving in Saigon, they they might leave in other place. They might leave in. Winyang or Nha Trang or um, other place, other place, and now they are living in Saigon, the place where they are both living is not so permanent. It's not so permanent. The place can be changed if they want. Okay, if they want. So. You, you, you should take notice on each case of music. Okay, music. One more. One more. May I delete? Okay. Now you, uh, you can, uh, check. Notice before a while before I delete before I, I delete. Okay. Okay. Now I delete. I delete. And now you can see um, uh, two pairs of 
two pairs of sentence. Number five. She. She. Cut. Grassy. Grasses. Up. At the weekend, at the weekend, at the weekend, and number six, she is cutting grasses. Grasses this week, this weekend. Okay, sorry, this weekend, this weekend. In number five, in number five, she cast grasses at the weekend. Is talk about fist arrangement, fist arrangement. Okay, this arrangement. This arrangement. Arrangement. Mean that the time she cuts grass is no chain, no chain. At the weekend, she can cut cut grasses up on Sunday or Monday. No chain, okay, no chain. But in number six, she is cutting grasses this weekend. This weekend. This near future. Near future. Near future, okay? Near future. That is a plan. Plan. She uh, uh she has planned to to cut grasses this weekend this weekend okay or in order to more in order to be more more clearly i can put the time at the weekend in the morning in the morning in the morning on Saturday. In Saturday. Mean that she will cut grasses in the morning on Saturday at the weekend. But in number six, in number six is near future. Is near future. She 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 can cut grass. On um uh, on Sunday or Monday in uh, evening or in afternoon, so the time is not fixed. It's not fixed. It's okay. Number seven. Her mom. Her mom is is teacher is teacher. She teaches English. English. And her mom, her mom is teaching English. 
now now in number seven her mom is teacher she teaches english no change her career her um uh, her um occupation is not trend is not trend this is is talk about the truth the truth no change she always she always she always teacher and she always teaching english but in number a her mom is teaching english now is talk about an action happen at the time of speaking it's happen right now she may she may teach she may be teaching in it now but later she changed her career she's she's no more she's no more teaches english she can teaches mathematics uh biology etc okay etc so just now just now i uh, present you the different usage of two two tense simple present tense and present continuous tense i remind you again simple present tense is used to talk is you to talk about general two habits repeated action changing situation uh, and fixed arrangement but but present continuous tense is used to talk about an action happen right now happen in near future happen in near in future happen in around this time okay around this time and now we we moving on to question and negative sentences of simple present and and present continuous tense okay. negative me negative negative and question and question sentence sentences of simple present tense of simple present tense in negative 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 forms we ask we ask not we ask not we ask not before is m and r or 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 do not does not 
does not before before the before what for example her mom is not is not a teacher her mom is not a teacher she does not go to school every day every day okay i am not i am not pilot pilot they are not they are not doctor. They are not doctors. Okay. They are not doctors. These sentences, these sentences represent to negative form. Okay. A simple present tense. And now, question sentences is similarly to negative form but we we put to be or do does at the beginning of the sentence okay for example is her mom is her mom a teacher is her mom a teacher does she go go to school go to school every day Every day, are you a pilot? Are you pilot? And are they doctor? Are they doctor? Are they doctor? So these examples we present to question sentences of simple present tense. Okay, simple present tense. It's not difficult for you to make a negative form and question form of simple present tense. Okay. And now we moving on to a negative and question sentences of four uh, present continuous tense. Okay. We also we also we also add not. We are also uh, add not um, next to the, the next to um, to be is m r and in n r so. Please look at the ball to see some examples how how they are. Okay. And five number five. Need 
the key and question and question sentences sentences of present continuous tense continuous tense continuous tense Negative. He is not working now. Is not working now. He is not going to going to school, going to Paris. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. They are not. They are not having having. Exam examination examination at the end the end of this month this month we are not We are not we are not working for for him. Tomorrow, tomorrow, okay. And question form, question form, similar to question form of simple present tense, we put to be we put to be at the beginning of the sentence for example is he working now working now is he working now Is he going to Paris? Going to Paris? Paris tomorrow. Tomorrow. And are they having? Are they? Are they? Having 
examination examination is examination at the end of this month the end of this month also are we working for him tomorrow are we working for tomorrow the same okay the same so this above these above cases i help you to review the old lessons of simple present tense, present continuous tense. They are they are basic enough for you to review the knowledge for your exercise practice in future. So in all in order to in order to in order to understand in order to more understand and uh, you can uh, do exercise you can exercise please take notice take notice on these on these examples of uh, the lesson today and you should you should learn by heart you should learn by heart uh, day by day uh, every day every day you should spend uh, you should spend uh, uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes on uh, on reviewing on reviewing uh, this lesson on reviewing international on the reviewing the old lessons of uh, international phonetic alphabet um, you should review um, what a single vowel sound uh, combination vowel sound and consonant sound including uh, unvoiced consonant and voice consonant um additional to additional you should uh, review uh, the music of simple present tense and and present continuous sense they are your basis they are they are your basis to do exercise firstly and then you can make a, a passive a passing you can make a passing uh, or you can make a passing or you can make a description or you can make a letter send to your friend and send to your your teacher your uh, anybody uh, you want okay so uh, the lesson uh, is about time to stop now so uh, thank you very much for your watching and and listening to my explanation uh, explanation uh, and you also um, uh, you also can see my uh, exercise attached to this video uh, below uh, uh, in the link below this video okay uh, thank you very much for your watching and bye bye see you again okay